This is about a dream I had the other night. And it means something. I'm not sure exactly what it means. I know some of the meaning of it. But in the dream, Harland and I, we were traveling like we always did in our life. And there was this group of some kind of religious cult of people. And it seemed like a middle-aged woman was in charge of them. And they were testifying and traveling around, telling people their doctrine, whatever it was. But they had this, this book, this hardback bound book, and had this paper cover over it. And it said Eladio, E-L-A-D-I-O on the front of it. Well, I didn't know what Eladio meant. I don't remember ever hearing that before. But Arlen said, can I have one of those books to read? Because I want to see what you believe. And they wouldn't. They said, no, we don't have any more. These are the only copies we have. And we don't have enough. You can't have one. And uh, they were packing them up real quick and keeping them away from him. And he wanted to testify to him of the truth that the Bible is an idol, that the way of salvation is through the Spirit. And uh, Jesus Christ has to fill you and lead you by the Holy Spirit, not through the Bible. The Bible's dead letter. It doesn't regenerate you into a son or daughter of God. But they wouldn't let him speak. And I remember looking at him, and I felt bad for him because he wanted all he ever wanted to do was tell the truth so people could really be saved, really find salvation, really walk and talk with their creator and their savior so they could really have life and be delivered from the Bible delusion that really is condemning people to hell when they think they're going to heaven. And he wanted to tell people. He was <laughs> desperate, I guess you could say, to tell everybody that he could all his life. And that's what we work for all our life. And that's all he ever wanted to do. And I remember in the dream, I felt hurt in my heart because I felt bad for him that they wouldn't even let him testify. And they were packing up all their stuff, getting ready to leave in a hurry and uh, had this book that said Eladio on the front of it. And um, they were headed for Mexico and they were going to go down there and preach their message, whatever it was. I don't know what it was, some kind of weird cult. It wasn't Holy Ghost, so that's for sure. You get so many different cults and weird doctrines from people that worship the Bible. They pick out a few verses from the Bible and make up their own doctrine. That's the way all the churches have been today. I don't care which church it is. I don't care if it's Catholic, Protestant, uh, Pentecostal, Mormon, Jehovah's Witness, Jim Jones, uh, David Koresh. They, they make up 2.2 new denominations every day from the Bible. If you don't like one, and you can't find one you like, then just make up your own. You know, you got the Bible. You think it's God's word to you. You think it has authority from God, then you can make up your own version. And that's what they do. And it's just, and there's so much perversion in all of them. They're so fleshly. But anyway, I looked up online. I had written it down in the middle of the night when I was sleeping and I had that dream and I woke up and I keep a post-it pad with a, a pen next to me when I rest and so I can write down anything that the spirit shows me. And so I just wrote a lot of you so I wouldn't forget my dream because a lot of times you'll forget your dreams. And this dream means something, but I looked it up and the only thing I could find was apparently in times past years ago, there was three different Catholic priests or bishops that were named a lot And then I think there's some kind of musician or somebody today named a lot something. But apparently this character that was in, I think it was a, a series, a TV series called Breaking Bad. I used to see it advertised a lot on commercials, but I never watched it. Harlan and I never watched it. I know it was something about some kind of mafia type thing. But they said that, the, that this uh, Breaking Bad person's name in the movie, in the TV program was called Don Eladio. Don means, I guess, the head, the heffy, whatever the boss. And um, he was uh, this head of the drug cartel in Juarez, Mexico, which is across the border from El Paso, Texas. And right now there's a lot of problems on the border right now between El Paso and all along the border. It's just a big influx and they have a lot of drugs. Harlan and I used to do missionary work down in Mexico. We spent two years down there and then we came back for a while. The Lord said we weren't free. And we went back for two more years and um, we lived for a while and then we came out of there. Well, the drug cartel took over. It's like Colombia used to be. And you can't live down there now. It's not safe, especially if you're an American 
for a foreigner, you can't go down there. And of course, we were too old and we went online anyway. They wouldn't hardly let us get the message out down there. It's controlled mostly by the Catholic Church and and religion like everywhere is. You had to be able to go online to get this message out. But anyway, Eladio, if any of you know what that means, you know, if there's any correlation to it, but uh, I know that it has something to do with uh, maybe not being able to, maybe cult, maybe not being able to get religion out. I mean, maybe not being able to get the truth out because it's controlled by the cartels or by, uh, I guess in a way the Catholic Church is a cartel and so are the are the Protestants and all the Bible worshiping churches, denominations. They're like a cartels controlling religion through the Bible and they won't let this truth get out. So I don't know for sure what it means, but it means something in the spirit. So I thought I would share it with you, see if any of you, the Spirit shows you anything about it. Your voice will be heard again, Lord. Your voice will be heard again. Light will break forth in the morning. Your temple is our body. 